Hello YouTube, my name's Kendall. Full disclosure, this video is a follow-up to last week's video. Go ahead and watch that video if you haven't already, or if you're missing some information, link is in the upper right hand corner, as well as the description. Come straight back here when you're done, okay? In that video, I went through Neural DSP's latest offering, the Archetype Abasi plugin. Although there was one huge caveat, I didn't talk much about the cab section, and to reiterate from that video, I didn't use it. So how did I not use any of the built-in mics and cabs and get a sound that sounds like this? As opposed to this. The answer is simple, but kind of complicated. Stay with me for a sec. In tandem with Neural DSP software, I used my trusty Boss Katana Artist, mic'd up with, at the time, an Audio-Technica AT2000 and a CAD GXL2200, both of which you can get on the used market for practically nothing. Although, if higher-end microphones are more your speed, this time around, I'm going to be using the Shure SM7B and the Lewitt LCT440 Pure. Neural DSP already put out a video detailing how you can play your Neural DSP plugins live with this setup. A link to that will be in the description. Now in that video, they told you that you could record with this setup, but they didn't much tell you how. That's why I'm here. So I need you to do me a favor. Grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, because this is gonna get complicated. Also, while you're at it, I need you to do one more favor for me. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there and hit the bell too so you don't miss one single thing. So for clarity's sake, my signal is as follows. My guitar goes from my direct box into the left input on my interface and into my laptop, which has the standalone version of the Neural DSP plugin of my choice. I'm using a few in this video. Stick around, you'll hear them at the end. From there, all you have to do is double click the cabinet icon to disconnect it. From there, take a line out from your interface into your amp head's effects return. You should be able to do this with no ill effect to your amp whatsoever. From there, plug your amp into your cabinet. From there, mic yourself however you like. The Lewitt mic is as close to the cap as possible, whereas the Shure SM7B is in that sweet spot between the cap and the cone. From there, the mics go into the Behringer Xenix 802, which is a decent, inexpensive mixer, which again, used market, basically nothing. From there, it goes back into my interface, but into the right input. From there, you can record into the digital audio workstation of your choice. Mine just happens to be Mixcraft 8. Speaking of Mixcraft, this setup, as complicated as it is, skirts the whole issue of Mixcraft not supporting Neural DSP plugins. According to Neural DSP's website, loading the plugins into Mixcraft can cause random crashes, which I am so not about. All in all, this setup sounds pretty good, but enough talk out of me. Take a listen. Just like last week, if you want the tones for yourself, you can get them for free. All you gotta do is hit up the preset folder. Link is in the description. Let me know if you want more educational content just like this in the comments below. Speaking of the comments, let me know down there if you want me to take a look at each individual Neural DSP plugin. If you want to stay up to date with me and my adventures in guitar nerdery, you can follow me on social media. And there it is, follow me. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been Kendall, you've been wonderful, like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, see you soon.